Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Master of Computer Science Subjects. Today we are going to discuss uh, one of the important concept, program relocation. Before getting into the concept, I just want to convey one uh, information. My YouTube analytics says that 80% of the viewers have not subscribed to my channel but are continuing to watch. Please subscribe to my channel, it would motivate me. And also share the videos with your friends. Okay, now let's get into the concept. Program relocation. So what is program relocation? Moving the program from one memory location to other memory location. Why do we need to move from one memory location to other memory location? In general, programs are available in secondary memory. At the time of execution, the program will be loaded into the primary memory. This is one of the reason, right? And the other reason is, when we have a larger systems, larger systems means I mean uh, when the memory is more, when the memory size is bigger, more than one program will be allowed to execute. For all the programs, we cannot fix the load address priorly. A constant load address cannot be fixed for all the programs in the beginning. So, whenever there is a more than one program at a time sharing the memory of the system and the other resources, that time also program relocation is required and the other reason is we must be able to load a program into the memory when the memory is available for the disposal. This is the second reason and actual starting address of the program is not known in advance as a consequence of this. Right Now we will understand what is the role of assembler in program relocation. Assembler in fact does not know to which address the program is to be loaded but it can help the loader how it can help the loader it can tell or identify for the loader that which parts of the object code need to be modified when it is to be relocated so this is the role of the assembler this is very important to understand the assembler will inform the loader in such a way that the portions of the object code which are to be modified so that the relocation will happen successfully right now we see in general the features of assembler there are machine dependent features there are machine independent features now we don't discuss about this what is machine dependent these features are dependent on the architecture of the machine that is why we call it as machine dependent Instruction format depends upon the architecture of the machine. This we have already discussed in the video. Addressing mode, it is also already discussed. Program relocation, this feature is also machine dependent feature. It depends upon the memory and the instruction format, whatever is supported by the machine. Based on that, the program relocation also happens. So this is one of the machine dependent assembler feature. Okay, now we try to know how this program relocation is happening before that i just want to remind the instruction formats of sicxe this we have already discussed in sicxe there are four formats of instruction format 1 2 format 3 and format 4 accordingly each format is of uh, 1 byte 2 byte 3 byte and 4 byte right in format 1 it supports only the opcode. There is no memory reference. So, when an instruction is consisting of format 1 instruction and when the same object code is relocated to some other location, this format 1 does not create any impact. Okay, now let us move on to the format 2 instruction. What is the format here? Opcode and there is a source register information and there is a destination register information that's all there is no memory address or memory reference here so when this instruction of sic xc program is relocated this also does not create any impact i mean it it does not require any modification at that time of relocation so format 1 and format 2 remains the same even after relocation also Okay, now let us move on to the format 3. Format 3, this is a displacement field. Displacement is nothing but the distance. What distance it is from the current instruction execution to somewhere in the memory location or the label, the distance is measured and the distance is stored in format 3. This type of addressing is known as relative addressing. 
right in format 4 it supports absolute addressing in the sense the exact address of the label or the symbol will be stored in this format 4 format 4 facilitates the complete address storage of a symbol or a label this is containing absolute addressing so wherever the absolute addresses are being used those object codes need to be modified at the time of relocation i will explain why format 3 does not require any modification why format 4 requires modification with an example right so this is an sic xc example program this program you would have seen in my previous videos also okay now let us look into the last column the object code See, from the object code itself, we can identify what format instruction it is. The first object code is 3 byte. It is format 3. The second one is format 3. Whereas, this object code is format 4 instruction. Uh, similarly, these are all format 3 and this is format 4. So, from the object code itself, we can easily identify the object code belongs to what format of instruction it is if it is three bytes it is format three if it is four byte it is format four if it is two bytes it is format two right now you see the continuation of the program this b410 b400 b440 are nothing but format two instructions object code similarly this object code you can easily identify it as a format four instruction please remember only the format 4 instruction use absolute addressing format 3 instruction is using relative addressing okay now let us see the format uh, 3 addressing okay now let us uh, read this instruction store linkage register written address we know it is format 3 instruction when this instruction is executed what is the meaning of this instruction uh, the from the content of linkage register is to be stored in the memory location return address if the content is to be moved from linkage register to this memory location this memory location address is to be known to the assembler so this is the target address so where this return address is available the return address is available at the 30 okay now instruction is available at the address 0000, 0, 0, 0 and the target address or the target label is available at the address 0033 okay now we assume that this program is not starting at the address 0000 we assume that it is starting at the address 1000 if it starts with the address 1000 obviously this address can be modified as 1003 this will become 1006 and this address will become 100A and so on. Right? And this address will become 1030. Whether it is 0000 and 0030 or if the starting address is 1000 and the address of the label written address is 1030, the distance between the two instructions remains the same. That is the reason I am telling when the relocation is done, the corresponding object codes of format 3 instruction would never be affected, would never be affected. Only the format 4 instructions or you can easily remember that whichever the instruction formats use absolute addressing, such instructions will be affected whenever the program relocation happens. That also we will understand with an example. See, look into this example. Look into this figure A. Here, can you see that the starting address of the memory is 0000. In fact, this rectangle box is 0000. At the address 0006, this instruction is available. Plus, jump to subroutine, read record. And the corresponding object code is given as 4B101036. Right. What is this 01036? It is nothing but the address of the read record that is available here. The label read record is having the address 1036. Fine. Now, the entire program is relocated to the address 5000. 
okay see here 5000 is a starting address of the memory at the address 5006 whatever was available at the sixth address now it is being shifted to the address 5006 at 5006 what is the object code available this 4b10 here the address is modified as 6036 why it is modified as 6036 because when the program is relocated the correspondingly the label read record is also relocated to the address 6036 so this address needs to be stored in that format 4 instruction because format 4 supports the absolute addressing so this entire address needs to be stored so 1036 is modified as 6036 okay the same thing suppose assume that the program is relocated to the memory location 7420 so 7420 contains the starting instruction of the program 7426 contains the instruction jump to subroutine read record accordingly the address of read record is calculated as 8456 if this address is 8456 there is a change in the object code the object code is modified into 4b1 this five last half bytes is nothing but 08456 i hope now you would have understood the program relocation okay we have understood program relocation how assembler is informing the loader about this uh, wherever in whichever the object codes requires relocation it just informs this assembler informs this to the loader with the help of a modification record till now in the object file we know that there are three types of record header record text record and end record it's a new record modification record what is the purpose of this record using this record assembler informs whom loader about the object codes which are to be modified at the time of relocation the object codes which are to be modified at the time of relocation at program relocation okay so now let us see what is a modification record what is the structure of modification record column 1 has a letter m just to identify what type of record it is the next six column is nothing but the starting location of the address field to be modified relative to the beginning of the program and 8 to 9 is the length of the address field to be modified in half bytes okay now let us see with an example right this is the object file or the object code in the previous video i have shown the object file with header record and the text record and the end record now there are modification records since i said that in sic xc architecture format 4 instruction uses what uh, absolute addressing wherever absolute address the entire address is given as a part of the instruction such instructions need to be modified okay now let us refer to the program look into this object code 4b101036 this object code is equivalent to this instruction what is the starting address of this instruction it is given as 6 okay then 4b is available at the address 6 this 10 is available at the address 7 this next 10 is available at the address 8 then the last 3 6 is available at the address 9 6 7 8 9 it occupies 4 bytes that is why the starting address of the next instruction begins with the address a okay now let us come to this we know that at the time of program location this object code needs to be modified okay where the modification has to happen we know that in format 4 the last 20 bits is the address the last 20 bits means it is 5 half bytes 5 half bytes means from where from what address from 7 8 9 actually the 0 1 0 3 6 requires modification but the 0 is available at the address 0 7 
So while writing the modification record, we need to write like this. A modification record or a modification is required and the modification has to happen at the address 7. What is the length of the modification? 5 half bytes. Half bytes means 4 bits. 5 into 4 bits is how many bits? 20 bits. Okay. Now let us see the next modification record where it is required. Look into this object code. 4B10105D. This is in fact 4 bytes. What is the starting address of this object code? It is given as 13. From where we need to do the modification? Actually this last 5 half bytes are to be modified. So this digit is available at the address 14. The starting address of the instruction is 13. At 13, 4B is available. At 14, this 1, 0 is available. So let us create the modification record like this. M. Modification is required at the address 14 for the 5 half bytes. Okay, let us understand what is the meaning of this modification record. A modification is required at the address or starting from the address 27 for the next 5 half bytes. Remember this 5 is length of the modification and it is measured in half bytes. Half byte is nothing but 4 bits. Okay. Now 27 means we go uh, starting from the address 26. There is a format 4 instruction. From the plus sign itself we know that it is a format 4 instruction. The corresponding object code is here. It says that from the address 27 for the last 5 half bytes means this value will be modified when the program is relocated. So assembler just informs a loader this is the address from which the modification has to be done. Assembler cannot modify these addresses because it does not know priorly for which address the program is to be loaded. I hope this would have given you the complete idea of program relocation. Once again, I request my viewers, please subscribe to my channel and watch. Thank you.